Hi, this is Bilal from Speckle. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed your BIM models into uh, applications like PowerPoint. Uh, we're going to be using Speckle for that, and I'm going to show you step by step how to send your Revit model to Speckle and then copy your, you know, Viewer URL and embed it into, Power B, uh, into PowerPoint, not Power BI. And, you know, we're going to do certain use cases like let's say that we're going to create some sort of live link with PowerPoint and Revit. So, you know, you, you make any changes in your Revit environment, send it to Speckle, and you can also view that in your, uh, it automatically updates in your PowerPoint uh, presentation. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to do this. And at the end of today, you're going to end up something like this. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the requirements to follow this tutorial. As I said, we are going to be using Speckle for all this process. So you should have an account on Speckle server. Go to speckle.xyz and create an account. You know what? It's free, so you can definitely try. And we are going to be sending model from Revit. So you should install the Speckle's Revit connector. Obviously, we're going to be using PowerPoint. I don't have PowerPoint installed in my desktop, so I'm going to be using the web version. But I guess the, the, the process is going to be exactly the same because we're going to be installing an add-in. And speaking of the add-in, we're going to be using the web viewer add-in. Okay, so let's go. Let me open Revit first. And this is the model we're going to be using. What I have is a simple architectural model and then I have a structural model that is linked, right? So let's create a new project on Speckle and I'm going to name this Revit to PowerPoint and let's click on create. Now we have a new project. So we're going to be sending from Revit. So we are on this, we are on the correct tab. I'm going to expand this and let's go to advanced settings. Since we have the structural model linked, Let's make sure that we have checked the send linked models option. So when we send from Revit, the linked model will also be included. All right. So all things are set now. I guess we can continue and click on send. So what Speckle is doing at the background is it's converting all these uh, Revit elements into their Speckle equivalent. So we can view them on the web or we can, you know, receive them in any other environment like Rhino, SketchUp, Blender, AutoCAD, whatever you want. Okay, we got the pop-up sent successfully, view online. So let's view the model we sent from Revit in Speckleverse. All right, so this is how it looks like in Speckle. Let me actually hide the rooms so it doesn't block our UI. And our linked structural model is here. So everything looks good, I guess. Perfect. So our Revit model is on the web now. How can I embed this viewer into PowerPoint? That's the question. So let's go back to PowerPoint now. And as I said, we are going to be using an add-in. So let's go to insert and click on add-ins. Okay, here we are in the Microsoft Store page and Web Viewer is right here. If you can't see that there, just type in Web Viewer and click on search and the first one. So I'm going to click on add. I agree to the conditions. Why not? And click on continue. All right. So we have installed the uh, add-in. Now we need to somehow connect the model in Speckle into PowerPoint. So let's go back to Speckle now. And I'm going to click on the share icon on the top right corner. Let's click on that. And we have an embed option available. And it says viewer embedding only works if link sharing is on, which makes sense because currently this model is only uh, visible for me. I'm the owner of this project. And so if I turn on the link sharing, anyone with the link can view this model now. Okay. So we have a couple options. Let's go through them. 
So when we embed the viewer, how do we want the background to be look like? I want to have a transparent background. That's perfectly fine. Do we want to hide the viewer controls? Yes, let's do that. Viewer sidebar, I want to keep it. Hide object selection info. Let's keep that as well. Prevent scrolling, no. Load model automatically. Let's check this option. And okay, we're ready. I'm not interested in command slideshow mode. Okay, perfect. So now we should copy this code right here. I'm gonna copy this. Let me create a new tab and I'm gonna paste that into here. So this is a really simple iframe, but the thing is I am only interested in the source of this iframe because I already have the thing that creates the iframe, which is the add-in in this case, right? So I'm gonna go back and I'm not really interested in the width, the height, the frame border, etc. So I'm gonna remove those. I'm going to remove this as well. So let's go back to the beginning iframe. I don't need you and the source and okay. So we only now have the URL. So let's click on enter and see if it actually works and it works. Perfect. So I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to come back to PowerPoint now. So let's paste this now. Okay, and I'm going to click on preview. And I guess we made a mistake. Let me actually go to edit again. Oh, okay. So we have HTTPS in the beginning, and then we have another HTTPS here. So I guess we need to remove it from our URL. Perfect. So I'm going to click on preview now. And here it is. Since we checked the load model automatically option, it is installing it. And here it is, the model we sent from Revit. This is the exact same model we have here, but in our PowerPoint environment. We can actually scale this up. So let me actually do that. And yeah, this is it. Perfect. Now I'm actually going to share a bonus tip with you guys. So currently we have only embedded the current state, the comet object itself, right? So if you examine the URL, we have the speckle.xyz, and then we're saying embed, the stream, we have the stream ID, and then we have the comet equals the comet ID. But the thing is like, you know, the comets are basically, whenever we send from Revit to speckle, we are creating a new comet, a new version of our model. So we have embedded the specific version of our model, right? But let's say that you have made a change in your model. Let's go back to Revit now. And I'm actually going to change the material on this wall. So let's do something like this. I don't know. I'm actually going to change the color of this material to red. Right? Click OK. 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 And now it it's red. Perfect. So let's send it to Speckle one more time. All right, we've sent it now. So let's go back to Speckle. And I'm going to go back to my project. And here is the new comet, right? But the thing is, we are still seeing the old model, right? Because we have embedded this specific version, the specific comet we have created. So if you want to keep track of whatever you send from Revit in PowerPoint, right? So we have linked these two environments. Let's say you made any changes in Revit and you want to see that in PowerPoint as well. What you can do is instead of embedding your commits, that specific version, you can embed your project, the stream itself. So if you go back to PowerPoint and let's click on edit. So what I will do is since this URL says commit object is equal to this, and we're not really interested in commit, we are interested in the project, the stream itself, I'm going to remove it from there. Perfect. And I'm going to click on preview now. And once you do that, now you have a live connection with this, your, with your speckle project, right? So now our walls, as you can see, are red. So let's say that, you know, you, you've decided to make another change. Let's go back to Revit and I'm going to add a wall here. I don't know, wall, something like this, right? We have a new wall here. 
I'm going to click on send one more time. It is sent. So if I go back to PowerPoint now and let's actually refresh this page so it picks up the latest comment. I'm going to go back to the latest slide and it's loading in the background. Perfect preview. And here it is. As you can see, the new wall we have added in Revit and send it to Speckle is now here in PowerPoint. So this way, you know, you can somehow link your Revit project into your PowerPoint slides for, for any reason. All right. That was it. I hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, I don't know, maybe like or share or subscribe to our channel. And if you have any feature requests or any comments, just let us know in the comment section below, or even better, we have a community, speckle.community. Go there, ask us, we will definitely help you. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.